what's up guys it's osiris welcome to a brand new video today we're going to be taking another sneak peek into fl studio 21 let's get right into this so if you've not watched the first sneak peek i'll put a link to that in the description below so you should check that out so we're able to preview some of the new features coming out in fl studio 21 we're able to preview the new browser we're able to see some new themes and some new plugins and some minor updates and we'll be taking another sneak peek into this third image line beta version so there are lots of things that uh image line have worked on here and we'll just be taking a look a quick look into the major things here so the first and the most exciting thing is the image we have here the playlist clip fade in fade out and the gain let's see what we have with this so i'm just going to drag in this sample and if you see this playlist this audio clips option here you can show in show the feed editing controls and if you enable that you can just fade in this drum track let's listen to that And that sounds very, very cool. So we can also fade out and we can also add in the clip gain directly from the playlist now. So this is going to sound very loud. And this is going to sound quiet. So this, <laughs> this is the most exciting thing we have from the updates. This is what I've been waiting for. And the interesting thing is you can change the fade curves here and have interesting fade the fading pushes out the fade out if you reach the end the beginning of the fade out and fade out does the same to the play, um, fading an interesting thing i noticed is that this gain is its own new gain it's not coming from the volume here or the volume multiplier here it's an additional gain so lots of gain controls here in fl studio and that's very interesting that's very very interesting so let's try to bring in another sample here and you can actually cross fade like that let's listen to this that is fire that is fire so i'm just going to fade this out more and let's bring this in So that's what we have with the new fade in fade out and gain feature this this is one of the most exciting things apart from the browser so talking about the browser there has been more improvements to the browser i was talking with someone on the forums on about more things that can be done with the browser and i believe the image line guys are listening so yeah more changes have been added to the browser and i'll show you that in a minute so you can get this uh beta version in the forum so if you own fl studio go into the forum and you can discuss this beta with people here and suggest things and test out different features and yeah it's very very cool to contribute to the image line community because we have free updates for life and that's one of the best things any software can give you free updates for life so go get fl studio and come into these forums and uh contribute to the development of this amazing software so let's get back into the video uh let's take a look at browser a library section has been added and you can purchase libraries directly from here you can see direct wave libraries here flex libraries fpc and let's try to purchase let's see let's try to purchase this and you can also like download or preview this on youtube you can download a demo of some of the libraries and if i click on the cart here it takes me to the image line shop which i'm already logged in on and i can purchase anything directly from the software without going to my browser so i can purchase everything i want directly from the fl studio software so that's very cool and custom tags have been added so if I want to add this to drums, I can right click and add tag. I can create like my drums, my drums, just then I can 
tag this and let's see oh so you can't space out your tags so i'm just gonna add to edit tags so it added this to drums and my so if you space out i think it's adds it to different tags so let's just call this my drums m drums yeah that's also fine so m drums i'm just going to tag this to m drums and i'm also going to add this to m drums so if i come over to tags and select m drums it should bring out both drums and so that's the major updates done to the browser so some of you guys wanted to see the new delay plugin so i'm just going to preview that for you let's just add it to the master here multi-band delay so what this does is you can create delay for multiple bands so this delay tab lets you adjust the time so for the low end i can create a really slow delay and for the high end i can create a fast delay and let's try this out then this controls the volume and the panning so i'm just going to pan the fast delay to the left and the low end is to the right. Let's see how this sounds. Interesting. So this is a very interesting delay plugin. Obviously we have lots of options, but that's the major thing you have here. You have the delay tab that controls the time the volume and the pan so that's that's what we have for this new beta version of fl studio so lots of great things coming with fl studio 21 and just going to the forums to check more updates here lots of things here but we just went through the major updates and i thought i should share that with you guys so that'll be all for today if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new from this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.